have been working with lasers on a professional level for the last 11 years. Ever since 2014, I have had my own laser-based jewelry business, which has earned me a full-time income ever since. And I've done it all with this baby right here. This is a CO2 40 watt laser from Full Spectrum Lasers. It has lasted me this entire 11 years. Sure, it might be a little bit like the laser of Theseus, but hey, it's still kicking. So when we create reached out to me to offer me a free diode laser to review, I was hmm, a little bit hesitant because not only do I already have a laser that is working perfectly for my business, but I know a diode laser doesn't really pack as much of a punch. So they offered to put in a couple of thrills and frills to sway me over and darn it, it worked. So we got this beautiful pink pony over here. This is a We Create Vista flip laser engraver and cutter, but does it have what it takes to start and maintain an entire laser business? Well, we are putting my lasers up for battle and going to find that out. So let's jump into it. Ready, fight. Battle one, extreme engraving detail challenge. Let's start this battle with something I make and sell often. These Ouija board planchettes are made of solid cherry wood and are highly detailed. The 40 watt needs manual placement of the wood as well as manual focusing of the laser head. Once I make sure the parameters are within the wood and the laser program is all set, I push that one through and it gets cooking. The We Create Vista has a super awesome feature that my other laser doesn't have and that's a camera. I can put in the wood all willy nilly and the Make It program will take a picture of the laser bed and allow me to fit in the design wherever I like. I can set the laser levels to a preset or manually set the speed and power levels. These little planchettes are pretty detailed and I do want a deep engraving, so I guess the best I can and fire up this pink beauty. The first thing I notice as a comparison is the 40 watt laser engraves right to left and left to right, thus cutting down the runtime compared to the diode laser, which only engraves left to right. The difference is just a few minutes over the entire runtime. Everything is now done engraving and cutting out, so let's compare. The We Create Vista has cut out the wood without problems, and the engravings look pretty darn good. Very precise. I'm actually impressed at the quality as the pieces get smaller and smaller. I have been making these for years with my 40 watt laser, so it's no surprise that they have come out just the way I like. When compared next to each other, the engraving colors vary slightly, and I gotta say, I like them both. The diode has a more dark marking, while the 40 watt has a red hue in the engravings on this cherry wood. So, who wins the battle? Well, I'd say this one's a tie, but can the next challenge break it? Battle number two, wood signs. Sometimes bigger is better, so let's size up. We already know the 40 watt laser is faster, but how long does it really take to make a sign this big? Measuring about 11 by seven inches and with a pretty deep engraving, this sign is going to take the WeCreate Vista about an hour and a half. That's kind of long compared to the 40 watt. Luckily, I have that laser also running at the same time. It's making a few smaller signs. Let's compare the engravings of these bigger things. Well, wouldn't you know it, everything looks great again. I suppose that's not really surprising. I think the real conclusion here is that they are both super great with wood. So it's another tie, but what about acrylic? Battle three, acrylic. In case you didn't know, diode lasers can only cut a select few types of acrylic. They mostly range from solid colors. Clear or translucent acrylics will not cut because the wavelength of light disperses through the acrylic instead of slicing through it. When I was familiarizing myself with the We Create Vista, I tried to cut a diode compatible color called Daffodil Yellow from Craft Closet, my favorite source for acrylics. It did cut through, but it took many passes and because of that, the edge was very textured. But I wanted to see if I can cut through the most basic of all acrylics and the most popular, standard black acrylic. I am going to try to cut out a Star Wars Imperial cog with both lasers. The 40 watt can cut through the stuff like butter. The We Create Vista on the other hand, it cut through, but it took two passes. Let's compare. 
They truly are identical. The only way I can tell them apart is by the edge. The diode laser took two passes, and you can see that on the edge of the piece. However, it did cut out. I probably could have slowed it down even further and had it cut out in one pass, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So the winner of the acrylic battle is the 40 watt laser. It can cut glitter, clear, fancy, non-fancy, and so many more kinds of acrylics. Battle four, anodized metal. The thing with anodized metal is that we aren't engraving into the metal so much as we are obliterating the anodized layer with our scary science machines. I have some dog collar charms and I wanna make them into jewelry pendants. Since I didn't bother with a jig, I have to center the design painstakingly by guessing in the 40 watt laser. Using the amazing camera function in the We Create Vista, I can center my design on the charm and switch the material to metal so the laser levels are adjusted for me. Just a few moments later and we can now compare. Wow, okay, they both look great. It's going to be hard to pick a winner, but I promise I won't make it a tie again. The winner is... The We Create Vista. The fact I can use the camera and adjust the levels automatically by selecting the material gave it this win. Battle 5 Leather. I have a whole video on how to make leather turn out even better in your laser, but to summarize it, wet leather engraves and cuts the best. So after I soaked the scrap piece for a while, it's ready to compare. There is a leather preset material, but I'm going to alter it slightly as this tanned leather is pretty thick. After the We Create Vista engraved and cut it out, it's time to give the 40 watt laser a try. Now let's reveal. Here we are again. They both look great. The way the settings were on the Vista made the engraving dark, but not too deep and it's the opposite on the 40 watt. It's deep, but not as dark, and they both cut out. So I'm sorry to have to do this again, but it's a tie. Now I don't know about you, but I'm getting sick of all of these ties, so I thought why not throw in a hell of a handicap. When you get a We Create Vista, you can choose from a bunch of different add-ons, like the rotary. I have never had a rotary before. I've been pretty jealous of other people for a long time. And with the Rotary Pro, you can expand your laserable area amongst other things. But my favorite addition is actually the 2 watt infrared laser head. If you're not familiar what a infrared laser is capable of doing, then get ready for the boss battle. Boss battle! 2 watt infrared laser plus rotary attachment. This is an unfair battle to begin with. It's kind of like bringing a knife to a gunfight, but let's do it anyway. Switching over the 2 watt infrared laser head is as simple as unscrewing some screws, unplugging a harness, plugging in a different harness, and screwing in those screws. Seriously. Installing the rotary is even easier, assuming you're able to screw two screws and plug in a cable. <laughs> With everything switched over for this boss battle, let's obliterate the capabilities of my Elder 40 watt CO2 laser. I got this stainless steel mug from Target for only three bucks. With the We Create Vista Rotary Pro attachment, it expands the engraving area, amongst other things, which is great for a short mug like this. I can use the camera and align my images easy. I like easy. Unfortunately for me and my noob status, I messed up the settings for this mug. I was trying to do it too fast. That's a user error. Bring in the backup. With this mug that's been hiding in the back of my cupboard, I decided to use the infrared laser to line engrave. That's right, engrave into the metal. It made me wonder what other metals could I engrave into. I grabbed a sterling silver ring I had left over from my silver smithing days and gave it a go. The extension bars make holding onto something this little very easy and the camera function made engraving into it even easier. I have to say the engraving on the sterling silver ring looks amazing and it's not coming off of there. So who is the winner of this round? I think we all know it's the WeCrate Vista Flip Laser. Well, after all this, I have to say I am very much impressed with the 10 watt diode laser, especially with the rotary and the infrared head. If you are looking to make your own laser business, this is an exceptional little laser at a really good price. And wouldn't you know it, you could save 50 bucks with my code, LaserLady. 
But the verdict really is, yes, you can start a laser business and make some money with this laser. I plan on it and I can't wait to expand all the different new things I can now make such as metal rings and things to my inventory. So we're gonna be having a lot of fun with that soon. If you wanna learn more about how to start your own laser business, check out this video. Or if you wanna see how easy it is to set this baby up, then check out this video. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.